I, I thought both teams were extremely tired today. Um, you know, we both had short turnarounds, and um, at the end of the game, it was almost a game of attrition. Um, whoever had a little fresher legs to get to rebounds and to make shots and make free throws. Um, you know, I thought um, rebounding wise was a, a big advantage for us tonight. We did not shoot the ball very well, but our guys really attacked the glass to give us second and uh, third attempts. You've been in the training room. What's going on, Keith? Um, we'll know more in the next couple days. Um, you know, he hurt his big toe, so we'll be getting some uh, tests done tomorrow to see um, what the specific injury um, is. For Alec or Bashir, when you see a guy like that go down, what are you guys going to do to rally the troops to make sure you finish strong? Um, the biggest part of our team is that um, coach always talks about like when one guy is out, the other guys have to, our guys coming off the bench have to be able to step into that position. And I think that's one, what's going to be a, a big thing now for us. Al, can you talk about a quick start? You, you personally had 10 points in the first couple minutes because it's dominated the last right from each other. That was a huge emphasis before the game was offensive rebounding. We felt we had a size advantage inside, and the whole game you could tell, you know, with plus 20 offensive rebounds was, you know, it was something that we had to focus on from the game. Yeah, I mean, how were you guys able to do that? Just Andrew and Alex as well. The offensive, offensive rebounds. I mean, all we had to do was just be tough. Coach, coach talked about it uh, at the big game. We just got to be t um, show toughness and give effort and, and just be focused and just go get the ball. That's what we did. Just one of the last three days in like, for you? Long, tiring, not a lot of sleep, but uh, I got great coaches. I got great teammates that are supporting me every step of the way, no matter what. If anybody else is in that same situation, I'm sure everybody would be there to pick them up too. And, you know, it's it's just it speaks to you know how much my teammates and my coaches really you know love me and they support me and how much how much they want to see me succeed. I mean, tough tough week for me, but. You know, it's, it's, it's in the past, you know, it's something to remember. And, uh, you know, I really love my grandpa and I miss him, but I'm, I'm going to play for him for the rest of the year. Coach, you just talk about Alex Stark, particularly in the game. You know, like he said, um, it's, it's been an emotional uh, roller coaster for him the last few days. Um, you know, his family is extremely close. And, um, you know, that's, that's the pain and something happens like this. but. Also, you know, it's also the rallying point, too, because they're so close, and I know his family um, couldn't be more proud than to see him out there uh, starting the game how we did, uh, making shots and playing hard. Coach Gary had another tough shooting game today. He had eight rebounds, three assists, two blocks. Just talk about what he does away from shooting. Well, he knows he needs to impact the game in different ways than just shooting. Um, sometimes shooting comes and goes. Um, but, you know, hopefully after a few days in the gym, he'll be making shots because we need him to make uh, shots for us uh, this season. So, what can you say about Victor? Just, just, if he has to take on more of the You know, Victor, I thought, did a sensational job um, handling the ball at the end, but then also defensively. You know, I, I thought he was really good on defense the last uh, five minutes uh, of the game. And, you know, as he gets healthier, um, you know, he'll be able to, to do more things. and. You know, it's nice to see, um, you know, we get glimpses, you know, him attacking the rim or, or blocking the shot. Um, you know, hopefully as he gets uh, healthier and, and gets uh, more stamina, we'll see more plays like that. You played the season high 20 minutes today. Is, is there a number that's a threshold for him? No, you know, a lot's off feel for him. If he gets tired, if he looks tired, um, how he's going. Um, you know, we've been trying to increase his minutes, and I think he's ready for more minutes. And um, you know, depending on Keith's health, um, we're gonna need we're gonna need him. Alec, it's early in the conference, but how important was it not to start over two? So you don't want to dig yourself a hole right away. It's you know, it's a lot easier to be at the top and then kind of trickle down than it is to start in a hole and try and dig yourself out. And it was crucial today. I mean, it was it was a game that was less than 36 hours from our last one, and we knew coming into it that you can either start over two or you can even leave things out and be the middle of the pack and one on one and give yourself a chance to. To be two and one, three and one, and go on a streak. How, how difficult was it to shake that? It seemed like you got a little away a couple times, and then just couldn't, couldn't quite. Well, we tried to be as physical as we could, and they, you know, they started to give it back to us a little bit, and started to get in there for rebounds, and 
pressure us a little bit, but you know we just didn't we didn't want to shake, we didn't want to fold. You know we've done that in the past, and our team handled it to the best of the best that we could today. And it just you know we got to keep facing adversity with that same attitude that we just got to you know push them right back.